snow cap, symmetrically cone shaped and tall, the iconic Mount Fuji of Japan has for centuries provided the Japanese a spiritual backbone, attracting hundreds and thousands of tourists every year. But often overshadowed by its majestic beauty is the fact that the mountain is an active volcano with a history of frequent eruptions. Experts say the precise timing of the next big eruption is unpredictable, but Japanese volcanologists describe an urgent picture of the situation. More than 300 years have elapsed since the last eruption in 1707 CE an eerily long silence that surpassed the previous interval of around 200 years. The 1707 CE blast is known as the Hoei eruption, named after the Japanese era at that time. It spewed a massive amount of volcanic ash that affected as far out as today's Tokyo. Scientists studied the activity of the magma rising by measuring CO2 emissions in the deeper parts of the volcano. Studies from before the Tohoku earthquake in 2011 showed that the CO2 emissions were below 5 grams of CO2 per meter cube per day, which is the detection limit, which is very alarming. If the emissions rise above 5 grams of CO2 per meter cube per day, then seismic activity is occurring and an eruption could possibly take place. Should the mountain erupt again, cinders could rain down on parts of nearby cities with potentially life-threatening results, an economical loss of up to 2.5 trillion Japanese yen is expected. It is the arrival of volcanic hash, however, that experts say could paralyze Tokyo and its surrounding metropolitan areas. Ash is forecasted to drift to the east due to the western winds blowing over the archipelago and travel past Tokyo all the way to Chiba, according to simulated data published by a government task force in March 2019. That would wreak havoc on high-tech Tokyo, possibly causing blackouts, water shortages and malfunctions of electronic appliances as well as disrupting telecommunications. Trains might be suspended too. Airport terminals will be forced to shut down if runway markings are covered with ash. Health problems might also arise with the inhalation of ash, likely to cause health problems. As an eruption will most likely affect the parts that are east of the volcano, it is highly unlikely that an eruption of Mount Fuji will affect the southern parts of Japan, such as Kyushu and Okinawa. Therefore, for those interested to travel to Japan, after international travels resume, when the global pandemic is over, do not hesitate to contact Apple Vacations Malaysia. Apple Vacations are launching a travel recovery campaign where tours to Japan are offered with discounts up to 50%. Check out their website and Facebook page to know more. And as always, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.